While a lot of people are focusing on this video, which is an absolutely pointless distraction with no effect on everyone's life, they instead should be focusing on this disturbing video coming from Singapore right now, where a creepy dystopian camera-mounted robot is patrolling the streets to make sure that people are, quote, social distancing. Yeah. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski of We Are Change Oregon. And in this video, we're going to be talking about that, plus also the latest developments with Michael Flynn, the whole Russian collusion narrative that fell apart to even more than it did before, as well as other important developments here on this independent media organization that is sponsored by you. And one very easy way to sponsor us. After, of course, you have secured your food and water supply. If you've secured that and you have a little bit of money to splurge, check out our t-shirt store. We can get pretty accurate t-shirts, you know, like the one I have on now. That highlights our societal spiral to a technocratic hellhole. Very positive uh, t-shirts. Some of them even provide uh, some basic instructions like to uh, not get sneezed on. Others uh, celebrating <laughs> our survival <laughs> throughout this entire mess of a situation that we still don't know the exact ramifications of. So yeah, definitely check out these great t-shirts, e even some pillows, phone cases, whatever it may be to address your discontent in society. We probably have it. Our Biden shirt is uh, pretty accurate, and uh, I think our Trump one uh, is as well, but uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of them. Now, today, out of everything that's happening, out of the entire mess that we're in, a lot of people are focusing on this utter nonsense of Mike Pence delivering some PPE to a nursing home and then joking that he's going to deliver some empty boxes, a clip that was cut, taken out of context, and promoted by Colin Probe news organization man Jimmy Kimmel as some kind of PR stunt. And, and yeah, it, it's a PR stunt from the beginning. This is all a stupid joke and it's a distraction and we shouldn't be focusing and talking about this in the first place. It's freaking ridiculous. The guy was making a joke and even BuzzFeed is calling it out. Again, an utter waste of time when we literally have draconian Boston Dynamics Terminator styled robots roaming the streets mounted with the latest camera equipment that are remote controlled by government agents that are literally barking orders at people not to stand too close to each other. An item that many U.S. police forces have bought, many of them secretly, many of them without any scrutiny. But with this latest technological advancement of a robot dog, there are many severe implications that we should definitely at least, at least, minimally start having a conversation about. Not just because someone watched Terminator, but beget but again, the implications here will be vast and absolutely terrifying for human beings. And personally, after traveling to Singapore myself, I do have to say that the way that things are done there has been absolutely mind-boggling to me. They do have a social credit score. It is illegal to chew gum. They have extremely strict fines for smoking in areas that are non-smoking areas, which is virtually everywhere. Very strict laws against graffitis that, that have seen foreign tourists get literally whipped bloody because of them doing that and uh, even though I enjoyed my stay there and some uh, tinder dates there I definitely wouldn't want uh, the rest of the world to um, adapt some of the government policies that uh, their government has adapted that's just my own personal opinion but with more police departments and also the U.S. military equipping themselves with more robots with even a new report coming out that the U.S. military will have more robots than humans by 2025 with local police departments using Chinese drone technology right now to hover over and spy on people being in nature by themselves arresting them for doing so with Amazon working working one-on-one -on -one with Chinese government-connected corporations to work with on thermal cameras, which of course will be used to take your temperature from very far away, track you in a way where you cannot hide from the lens of Big Brother, while politicians talk about this new term of contact tracing, which is 
absolutely ridiculous. Even according to many experts, you do contact tr tracing when we are at the very beginning steps of a major, quote, epidemic. Doing it now is just absolutely pointless, especially with all the numbers and figures we have. But yet still, we see many government officials telling you that we're going to be doing this contact tracing, which was put in great context by this doctor who was talking about the latest announcement from the Illinois governor and his plan of tracking and tracing, which this doctor warns is a total lo loss of all privacy, saying that the government could track everywhere you go, every person you interact with, and have access to your medical information at the same time, which violates many of the privacy laws that are already in place. And again, people need to understand these measures need to be called out, need to be... And again, a lot of this is moving faster than a lot of people are expected. There at least needs to be a conversation, if not entirely, a lot of these privacy violating policies rolled back immediately. But the discussion is not even taking place and it needs to. But sadly, if you discuss this or, or other things, YouTube will, of course, ban you, attack you, demonetize you, downrank you, and try to do their best to hide you from the rest of the world so no one hears your voice, as they've been doing to this channel, as they've been doing to other channels, and as they've been doing to other legitimately crazy people. And the true testament of free speech is believing that everyone should have a voice, including the people that you disagree with, which, again... We are all for here as an independent media promoting. We're all here for conversation and dialogue and, of course, debates. We're living in an uncertain time. We still don't know exactly what's going on. And that's why we need more of a discussion than ever rather than all this other nonsense that's being promoted. But if you don't believe in free speech, for those that you disagree with, you don't believe in free speech at all. And here at We Are Change, we believe in free speech no matter what. We're undergoing a very crazy situation, a very uncertain one. In reality, no one really knows what's going on. The people who are calling themselves open-minded and, quote, have it all figured out, well, they're more full of crap than anything else. And those people who claim that they know exactly what's happening right now don't deserve your attention or time. And while some idiots want to infight, it distracts again from the bigger issue at hand, and that is government officials taking away people's rights. There right now are undercover police officers pretending to be clients that are setting up sting operations, arresting people for giving their neighbors manicures at home. Yes, you didn't read that wrong. Just when you thought the dystopian police state couldn't get any worse, we now have this situation where a young Texas woman and her friend are facing 180 days in jail and a $2,000 fine for trying to provide beauty services for their neighbors. Absolutely insane, as of course many hardened criminals are being released from jails all throughout this country while innocent people are being put in them. But yeah, Mike Pence said something, so yeah, let's all focus about that and not about our freedoms being eviscerated, which should be the main conversation. Again, many of these politicians are definitely not here to help you. They have no principles. They have no morals. And as we learned from the Michael Flynn case, which by the way, we've been saying from the very beginning, he was innocent. Laws and justice doesn't matter to these politicians. What matters is power. And again, we were called Russian propaganda by the mainstream media. We were put on hit lists by the mainstream media as, quote, Russian propaganda because we said Michael Flynn was innocent and that there wasn't any Russian collusion, which we were right about. Will they apologize for their attacks on all of us as they knowingly knew there was no Russian collusion? Michael Flynn went down for the crime of contacting Russia after Jared Kushner asked him to convince Russia to vote for Israel at the United Nations during an upcoming important vote before Donald Trump was inaugurated. This is what this was all about. That's what we've been saying. It definitely proved Israeli collusion with Donald Trump's son-in-law. Michael Flynn was, was innocent from the very beginning, but yet the damage still has been done. And this is why we need to be reminded we can't trust the mainstream media and the politicians. It's more important than ever to stand up for yourself, believe in yourself, and most importantly, 
rely on yourself. And that's why these topics are important to have a larger discussion about. If you agree with that, share it with your friends and family members because that's one way to start the conversation. There's a lot of important things happening. There's a lot of also crazy people. There's a lot of people infighting and attacking about a lot of nonsense that's happening right now. A lot of ego, a lot of emotionally unstable people. Obviously, we're living in very extraordinary times, but uh, I would urge, again, don't let the craziness, the negativity get to you. Some of it is engineered. Some of it is Cointel Probe as promoted by Cass Sunstein. That's a whole nother issue in itself. What's important now more than ever is to actually see the real issues and effects in front of us, address them, and to prevent them from getting out of hand. There's a lot of things happening right now, a lot of things to focus on, to pay attention, and if there ever was an important time for independent media, it is definitely now. You are a part of that fight, a part of that effort. Without you watching, upvoting, sharing, I wouldn't be here, and I'm only here because of you, and that's why. Love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on We Are Change.